Hi, I'm Chris Duenas. I'm John Wirt. And today we're gonna to be talking about the anchor point for recurve and traditional archery. I've got my, my bow here. You're gonna be talking about the traditional anchor point. And we're probably gonna look at the slight differences between the recurve Olympic style anchor point and a traditional style anchor point. There's a few minor differences. The anchor point obviously does the same thing for both styles of archery. It's, it's anchor, it means where we're locating the string with our string hand on our face. But they do the same things, but you're right, they're slightly different. Uh, you have a really strong anchor point that you've worked on for a long time, mm -hmm. and it's gonna look different than the way I do it, and I guess we can share exactly what those differences are. Mm -hmm. So for you at home wondering what an anchor point is, in case there's any novice archers wondering what the heck we're talking about, the anchor point is where you bring the string to your face, uh, and I'm really sure a lot of coaches are talking, hey, anchor, anchor, anchor. But what you're really doing is affecting where the back side of the arrow is. Uh, if you're shooting an Olympic style bow, then you have a front sight to tell you exactly where you're aiming. And with traditional, traditional and bare bow, you're either almost not aiming at all, or you're aiming off the tip of the arrow, mm -hmm. or maybe a spot on your arrow shelf. So many people will aim off the plunger or the rest but generally most of us aim with the end of the arrow shaft or the point of the arrow. Okay, perfect. So that means that there's a front sight and to make sure that the arrow goes exactly where the front sight is aimed, you wanna make sure that the back side of the arrow is in a consistent spot. So this is what we do with our anchor point. On a recurve Olympic style anchor, it's usually underneath the jaw. And what we do is uh, on my finger tab here, you can see this right here and that's called the shelf. And for us, we put the shelf underneath our jaw and we have this really good contact of metal to bone right under here. And what that does is it limits the variance of up and down, right? And so it's touching my jaw right here and I can't push any further up without pushing my head out of the way. And I, I'm trying to keep contact, which means I'm not actually below that point. So that's to, get, to take care of the up and down. How do, how do traditional archers take care of that? Traditional archers can use a few different points on their face, and there's going to be more variance for traditional or barebow archers than there are for Olympic archers or freestyle archers. And the reason is um, uh, we don't have a, a front aperture on our bow, so there's no sight to move. Yeah. So to aim our bow for different distances, we mostly change the tail of the arrow yeah. so that we can use the tip of the arrow at the same consistent aiming point. Or we change the height of the tail of the arrow to yeah. aim at different distances. The most basic uh, or, or most broadly used traditional or bare bow anchor is called the C mandible anchor. Okay. This is our mandible. Yeah. This is our C. The C is like holding a cup of water. We tuck the pinky and then we pour the water on its side like this. This C is gonna curl around the back of our mandible here. And like you were describing metal to bone, we use bone to bone. So I'm going to have bone to bone contact here with my thumb. I'm gonna have bone to bone contact here at the bottom of my cheekbone. Okay. And the rest of my hand curls around my mandible. That's the most broadly used. There are some higher traditional anchors where we bring the thumb along the line of our teeth and we post on the top of our cheekbone. Yeah and many young barebow archers who are trying to shoot at longer distances to get that arrow, the trajectory aimed the way they want it, they actually have to move down to a, a more freestyle style anchor yeah. so that they can use their tip to aim at long distances. So you'll see more variance with barebow archers, yeah. and the reason is all of us has, have different needs for how we're aiming. But the point is that you have a hard contact surface to another hard contact surface, so bone to bone. Bone to bone is what we look for. That's right. Perfect. So that take care, takes care of the up and down. So now we can talk about the left and right. And we can see this on a lot of recurve arches. And uh, I've, I've got to show it with my bow here with the string. And when we come back to anchor, uh, we're going to make sure that that shelf is underneath the jaw right here. And I'm also going to make sure that the string is touching the same spot on my nose every single time. For me, um, I like it on the exact tip of my nose because that gives me a really good reference point and I'll explain that uh, right after I show you. But here, remember it's shelf right underneath the jaw and the string to the tip of the nose, right there. Okay, so what that does for the Olympic style shooters, is since we don't have a back sight, we'd like to make sure that our left and right is taken care of. We wanna make sure that back end of the arrow is in the exact same spot every single time. Taking care of the up and down, 
Now we're looking at the left and right by having the string touch the tip of my nose and I can feel whether or not it's off to the left or off to the right and whether or not that's going to be a good solid anchor. How do the trad guys do it? Trad guys don't have as much but uh, to work with because um, our anchor point is on the side of our face. If I can use your bow, I can Absolutely. demonstrate here. Um, a traditional anchor is going to be higher and on the side of our face, so you're going to see the string is going to come somewhat right of my nose. Yep. And to control our left and rights, we use muscle memory, so coming to the same anchor point every time, and we use the string blur. And I know freestyle shooters will do this too, yep. but trad archers will consistently use the string blur, and depending on how your face structure is built, the, the, the way your bow is tuned, some people will put the string blur, blur in uh, proximity with their arrow shaft, yep. some will put it against the inside edge of the riser, some people will put it in the outside edge of the riser, but we often use string blur to check to see that we're aligned in the horizontal play the way we want to be. Now many of us, as we practice a lot, we forget to even have to look for the string blur and we only notice it when we realize something has gone haywire. Okay, we yeah. can see that the string blur is doing something it doesn't typically do. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull your bow back to anchor here and show you how we would with a, a bare bow. I start with all three fingers under where the arrow is knocked and this is gonna come back to my jaw here and I've got bone on bone contact in two positions below my jaw and at my cheekbone. Some people will put the, the index finger somewhere on a tooth on their jawline. Mm -hmm. I typically don't do that. I just look for contact here and contact. Interesting. Wow. So that's the biggest difference between Olympic and traditional shooting. And uh, I hope you guys liked our little description of the two different styles of anchor points. And um, have fun on the archery range. <laughs>